So we've got a lot going on in this clip. Let's go back and uh, have a proper little study. So we know that when we first saw it, there was a guy behind here. Um, as he flew in, he had no idea there was anybody there or shouldn't have had any idea. Here we get a swing away. Okay, now I think we're only talking about layer cake subjects here. And what I've done, he's going to swing back and I've put a blue line exactly where his crosshair stops. Not because that's where it stops, but because there's a guy behind this wall and I have done the calculations from the outside of the player box, gone across, and this is the out, outer um, stopping point for this player. It's not the crosshair that's given me it, it's this player. <clears throat> and this is the distance between the outer box and the inner box. The inner box will be here. But of course we're talking about the outer box at the moment. So let's go back. Bang. Remember this blue line is tracking matey boy until he breaks it and goes to the inner box. Yep. Yeah, if I do it bit by bit you can see it's moving with this player. Okay, the blue box is matching the blue player. So he's got that far. We see the guns drop in. He's lost the blue box, the blue line for the outer box. He's getting in onto the yellow box. And if you look, it's on the edge of the player box. Exactly the same distance. That, that bar does not change in size, so that gap remains the same. So he breaks off the blue one and it hits and stops at the other box, which is still obviously tracking the gamer. And then when he takes his shot, if you can imagine, he's coming in and guy's chest is about this height, takes his shot and where does it immediately take the gun to where it was but of course he's lost that lock now so he comes around swings through again this is the play box yep you can just about see where the guy's gone through on the outer box hits it guy is moving that way he's moving as well but did you notice it didn't go into it does not pass that in a box why not because he hasn't ads for it yet can't get in there <coughs> now he's ads what happens it swings back to the player box but of course the player's gone so let's just go back just so we can explain that clearly he can swing through, he's already past the outer box line, which is for where the player is, will be over here somewhere. So he's between the outer box and the inner box. He can't enter the inner box unless he ADSs or shoots. So he swings through, tries to get in there, and he can't, until he ADSs. Notice that the ADS comes after he hits the box. Outer box. Here goes the ADS, so that immediately makes him come back. Do you see how much of a snap that was to come back? Bang. Watch. Those sound effects are not me, they're within game. Yep, 
Bingo. I would say that's a gotcha. Okay, so let's move on. Just carrying on through the game. Now, as we get to the end of this crate, I've put another blue bar in. Why have I put a blue bar in? Bang. We've got a stop. Yep. When we say a sudden stop, don't mean that, you know, the moment it hits this blue bar, bang, it's that place in view. Don't forget, he's moving and the opponent that this is connected to is also moving. Um, so that, that hit point does move with it, which is what happens there. He then swings that way. He's not on. If you notice, I'm going to go frame by frame. So he loses that one. Notice it was a slowdown to that point, which means he's not on one of the locks. This didn't have a slowdown. Okay, we're coming through. Notice it was from that point to that point. If there's a slowdown, <coughs> the frames would have this being drawn a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, then it gets to the stop or past it and then back again. It isn't. Notice the distance is coming across the screen until it stops. Bang. Sudden. And then compare that to the other one where he comes across here. Notice there's a couple of little slows. Okay. So what can that tell us? Well, we can't see the enemy. But the fact that he went out and then was able to come gently back in again suggests that the enemy, this is the right hand side of the, the enemy's player box, the outer box, so the, the enemy could be anywhere kind of there, because he swings through. He then swings back, big heavy swing, and then I've put another blue bar in, and I've also put the correct distance for the outer player box. Bang. All right, just so you know, that is a player. Hopefully you can see it on your screen, you can see the leg moving, etc. So this is through this, the, um, the, the, the center of the player. And this distance does not change. And yet he was able to stop on it. And as that guy is moving, obviously it's pushing this black bar, which is pushing the blue bar. Not, um, <clears throat> not exactly that, but it, these are representations of what is happening because it's obviously happening mathematically. Yeah, you can see I'm not trying to fool anybody here. That's exactly where it's going. Okay. <clears throat> Until he does something about it, which is swings away. Right, we'll come back to that in a moment. Let's go all the way back to this other one. Remember this one? So, if he hits it, just there, and there's movement of the catch, and I said about here, so could it be that that guy was either running through here or running down here and not shown because of the poor graphics? I mean, there's a, a little thing here, but I can't say that's the guy. Um, so I'm not going to say it's the guy, I'm going to say it's a shadow. Okay, we've got another kind of shadow over here. Comes through. And yet, there is a guy running down here. Or jumping from here. It looks like he's actually jump coming upwards from here. <clears throat> Which would line up with the blue bar <clears throat> outer box he had a moment ago. So let's play through. Sudden swings round to the left. Again, it wasn't a sudden stop. Yep, you see that? A couple of frames there. So that's not a sudden stop. It's not a pixel stop, if you like. And then we're going to swing back through. And he gets a stop. Why has he got to stop here? Because that is a sudden stop. Before he even gets round there, that is a sudden stop. 
I'm gonna how many times you look at it. <coughs> Suggesting somebody over here. Again, that's a gentle start. So he's not got onto anybody here. Looks down. Now, at the beginning, there was um, some machinery behind these boxes. I meant to mention them before. He does a swing. Okay, it's a hard swing to get through, but notice it comes back for catch. That's a hard swing. So does it do a sudden stop? No. That's a slow stop. Yeah, that's a slow stop. That's a, that's a normal controller stop. Comes back and he gets a sudden stop. Let's go back. Alright, so the, the rotation stops it starts here and it just follows through. Okay, so he's ads but he hasn't ads with the guy in sight. He then pulls it away, back to the original corner, and notice it coming down at an angle. The machinery on the other side of this box is low at this end and high at this end, high enough for somebody to jump from it onto this box. That somebody is this guy here. And notice, when was the last time you saw Zlaner do a perfect diagonal to somebody? That was originally out of sight. Do you see that's what's happening here as well? So he's actually caught him on the way down across. He then does that perfect sweep up. And because he's ads it can go to the edge of the player box. He needs to shoot to get inside now. Okay. Keeps firing. Now it's the first one took him to the other side of the box. Go backwards. So there's the swing up. Where's the guy's feet? Obviously this wants, because he's ads it wants to go up to the knee. But he's pushing through. Notice it did stop at the side of the box. Now, because it takes the shot, it's trying to correct it itself and get in to the chest area. We go back through this cloud of smoke, you can see. So the next shot should be on the chest. I jumps back down again, out of the way, and immediately he disengages from this fight. Need to get involved again. Now, if it, you or I, and we know there's somebody behind this box that we've just taken shots at, uh, we're not going to turn our back on them and just do other stuff. We're going to try and investigate where the hell they've gone, especially when you've got teammates nearby that you can call out. He doesn't do any of that. Now this red bar, I use red bars for feet locks. Just think of where he's facing at the moment. And yet this red bar, notice it's going the same place across the, you know, the screen. I'm not trying, even though it looks like it's going up the screen, that's because the screen's coming down. But with the scenery, this red bar is remaining exactly the same. So let's say it's on this corner, this one here and it's kind of halfway through that one there let's go on to the next frame yep still on that corner still on that corner and it's coming through this box in the same place so i'm not adjusting this red line all right i'm only trying to do it to map with the scenery yeah it's not moving with the scenery blue bar that's an outer box one so that means I'm expecting a stop there, just like that. Shall we see why? Notice how that is moving directly on my red line. From how far away before he can even see the player. From that point there, right? He's got the screen centered now 
with that player's feet. Okay, so he then hits. Look how much of a smack that is against that outer box. Bang. Was there a slowdown? No, because that's the normal spot and then it just stops on it. Bang. Right. Takes it off a little bit. <clears throat> and then he does his swing through. Now, I just want to explain what these other lines are. The red line is the guy's feet. The black one is the guy's knees. This yellow bar is from the very tip of the head. The player box is actually slightly bigger, but visually it's probably better for me to do it from the head. And that is down to the feet. So even though we can't see the guy's feet, because it's behind here, that bar does not change length. All right, so, so as so long as that stays at the top of the head, we know where his feet are, is, so long as this distance from this player to Z lane doesn't change that much. Because obviously the further away the guy goes, he's going to be smaller. But that yellow bar, I haven't changed the height of that at all. So he's drifting with the outer box. He then swings two. And he swings through. So this yellow box, look, it's still the same size. I've zoomed the whole thing in as we're doing this. So that the, the zoom is actually getting um, zoomed in. The black guy is not moving away. But because I'm zooming in, uh, the yellow bar is zooming with me. Does that make sense? Because everything else is zooming with me. Yeah, can you see that we're zooming in as we're doing this? <clears throat> So that's the reason why you see the red and the black getting bigger. It's only because we're zooming in. Okay, so we're zooming in. I've put this in through the, the center of, of the player model. He's swinging through at feet height. He's ADSing, which means that's going to go up to Guess where? The knee height. And now he takes his shot. As soon as he grabs it, he takes the shot, which is going to take the gun where? Yeah, just... We can see it's hitting here, through his chest. I'm not really fussed about that because this is the important bits. It was that foot, the outer lock, and the, the knee. That's the three things I'm concentrating on today. But you notice that is still across the chest area. Until the down, which means a immediate disengagement. Yeah, you see that? I mean, and look how far away that swings. All the way round. <clears throat> okay, so, as we come back over, remember red is the foot. It's actually his bent foot. And this black bar now is roughly the chest to um, the box. Now, what do we say? If he's coming from below, he can't go above the foot height unless he ADS his nose. It's just staying underneath it. I'm not fiddling this. This is as he comes in. If he stayed above it, not a problem. He can go anywhere he likes now because he's all he's swinging in above it. But because he drops below, he can't go back above it until unless he swings away. So, notice it's getting close, but it just doesn't want to go through it. Now, pictorially, because we zoomed in, etc., it might appear that it goes just slightly above it one or, once or twice, but it doesn't. He's been up to it and along it, and again, he's up to it and along it, and look, it's on his foot. Yeah? <clears throat> okay, so it's now gone up, down below again. 
and he can force it through. Notice, even there, even when he's on the body, yeah, this is on the heel of the foot, that's where it is, he can't get above it. You can't tell me he's not tried to unless he swings away, and that's what he really, I think he realised. He swings down, that's him swinging down and not the red bar swinging up. So he swings down. Now, normally you'd come up and it's nice, um, you can start shooting it from the feet upwards uh, because he's, you know, the kind of weapon he's got, and you'll just kill that guy before you even get to the head. Simple, simple kill. The only trouble is, look, it rides across the lower lock until he can swing away hard. Notice that? Let's just see it. See, it actually swings across several times. He swings away purely so he can swing back and get re reacquire a lock, which is above foot height. And notice it stopped then. Look. Did it go into the box? No, because he hasn't ads <clears throat> hard swing the only other way to get into it he is ADS as he hard swings by the way and notice even there just randomly is that really random that it can absolutely hit on that box with all those other pixels between here and there the next one stops on the box it's got nothing to do with this it's, you know, from this player but it absolutely still hits it, even on the pass through. Okay, so mate his chest. We're coming in just below head height. Takes the shot, which obviously goes off into the distance, apparently. Now watch, does it at any point does that get into the head? Every shot is coming back down to hit on the chest. He's so close to that guy's head, and yet can it actually take a shot into the head? No, he's coming up beside it. Every time, this is multiple times. All right, the only time it goes through the head is when it's already lost its lock. The guy's already dead. So let's just try and get that a bit quicker for you. The only time it actually passes through the guy's head is when the guy is already dead. Is that human? Remember, this is crosshairs to the centre of the screen. It's not me moving crosshairs around a picture. This is the centre of the screen. I can't do anything about that. That's locked at zero zero. And yet, all the time, it misses the head until the final moment that he's dead and then Zelane is given control back and he comes to pull the gun off to the right now where was the stop coming back there where's the stop coming back that's just a natural slowdown one remember that our box is here he, he followed it for a while and then he hit it on passing through the last time it was about there but you notice it's a slowdown it's now just tracking with his um, strafe okay so just to excuse me just to prove those points um, we will have it on well that's the foot one so I'll tell you what, let's uh the foot one. Let's have a look. No, that's the foot one. That would be the knee. So this would be the black bar. Yeah. So this is I believe the black bar. And the yellow ones, the, the yellow one there, uh, the blue is uh, the this one here, I believe. 
Hang on, let's just work that out. Do -do 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 -do. No, because that's a line. So that must be the that'll be this black bar. <coughs> right, so at any point do these numbers here change? Because if they change it means that this black bar is changing size. At no point do any of these numbers change. They remain the same. Okay, so let's have a look at others. What's changing? No, nothing else is changing. Okay. If that one there was changing, um, then it means I'm stretching and, and, and sh um, squashing this black bar, and I'm not, which means that this distance remains the same throughout the clip. And yet he manages to get a sudden stop on that one, and then get a sudden stop on that one when the only mapping that I did was the blue bar distance to the out uh, the the inner box line so that is mapped to the player that distance then is um, calculated we put this line in here and we know we've got it right because it actually hits the outside of the uh, the outside of the player it's on the player box Okay, so that's that. But let's go for the next part. Anything changing on any of these figures? These ones will change because they're changing in respect to the center of the screen. So at the moment, the blue line's off here, and then when we know we've got the hit, that's where it was at 244, which is now 00 because it's now center of the screen. It stays at the center of the screen until he pulls off so we've now um, stopped the colouring right so it's still there but the figures are still there so if I was to drag that out a bit then it'll put the blue line in for a bit longer that's all okay so here's the blue line one and here's the black line one so we'll do it on the black line one so we're looking i mean this will change because it's obviously going to change in relation to the center of the screen but is it changing size are any of these numbers changing they're not changing so it's from there to there right just to confirm that i'm not playing around with these blue lines which is where he is tracking he is tracking that player yeah so the black defines where the blue line is going to be as far as what we're showing you if at any point this sticks to the blue line he's tracking the player like that and including when the player is out of sight by the way that's when he pulls off player's out of sight he's here going backwards how many frames have we got okay so we're still doing it even from there and guess what as he swings around where does it stop Okay. 
<laughs> then swings back. Not beyond the realms of uh, possibility, is it? Swings away. Gets another stop. Later, as we've already seen, we know there's a guy over here. But he gets that outer, outer box lock. The guy's probably lying on the floor. <clears throat> There's that little bit again. I'm not really interested in this one. It's not, you know, it's um, in inconsequential to what was shown because he's only on there for a couple of seconds. So back again. This line. Let's go for it. Uh, foot lock. That one there. So this is our foot lock. This is what's changing. It's in relate, so it's minus 143 pixels below the center of the screen. Okay, that's going to change as he swings around. This will change, but does it change with anything on um, the image? So we've got this mark here. Let's see if the next frame's got it. Yep. Notice it's coming down through it, but then again, so is everything else because of perspective. So. Anywhere along here, you want to take a you no, know, take a point, and see if I'm, I am actually tracking the right place. And then, how soon does he pick up on that red line? Picks up on it there. Yep, that sandbag there. Look, doesn't change from the bottom corner of that sandbag. Doesn't change from the bottom corner of that sandbag. Doesn't change. Doesn't change doesn't change doesn't change okay until it's off screen and he's tracking it all the way through there see the relationship with what's going on with the, the truck here what about with the bottom of that tire okay so obviously with perspective which is one of the reasons why I actually zoomed in Here's our player over here, so I end up zooming in. And you might say, well, why? how come the red line has gone back up above that tyre? Yeah, see, it's coming up here. Well, I remember what I said, I think the guy's probably lying down. I think he stood up just out of sight. He's probably heard Z coming round. He stood up and he started to make his move. You can see the black line is tracking the guy's knees as soon as he comes into view. Alright, and that's saying the same distance from the red. And this he gets really, really close. And the yellow is keeping with Matey Boy. So we're going to start our zoom in now. So we're losing that outer box, so we know he's coming in through the player, and he swings all the way in to the outer box. Yeah, there's coming down or coming towards the feet. The zoom's going to make it look a little bit odd. Um, it's this foot that it's following, kind of the, the center of the hill, um, but he's on the outer box as well. And you can see he's already started his ADS from about there. Which means he can come in and it does track that knee height for several frames. And then comes into the chest because he's taken a shot. See that? So you say he can get the foot, uh, the, the foot height. We can say he gets the outer box. We can say he gets to the inner box, the corner of the box as the zoom sorts itself out. Um, so he's on the outer box and to get in he's got to ADS which he does there and he tracks the knee. Only reason it's leaving is because he's taken his shot. We know that because we have the effect of it now. And what does it do? It takes him straight to the centre point and tracking up to the chest.
and when he gets that down control is given back to Z laner and the gun will go off either to the right or to the left quite violently so let's take that back a bit does it follow the guy down if he's got perfect tracking he's concentrating on where he's hitting the guy and he's going to follow him down you and I would does he follow him down no, see the kick? Yeah, I said the violent kick is the violent kick just now. Okay, so there's the violent kick. He's off the player model. And we've already got it that the guy is out of commission. So did he follow him down? No, just pulled away. And just to show you that we weren't talking garbage earlier about the lower box and the foot. Red line again is based on that foot. Notice it just bounces with a red line. Until he swings away and then he can come back in. Okay. I just think it's quite funny that that happened to happen even though on a swing through and uh, which means he's passing through this at higher you know velocity um it still lines up perfectly with um that line uh let's go uh, which one is it yeah it's that one nine five nine Okay, and then this is the bot. Uh, the, this bar here. So, does the size of that change? In other words, you know, is it? Can you say that I'm fiddling it? Am I trying to make it fit? No, I'm just trying to keep it on the chest, center of the chest. But look what's happening with his shots. That's what's important. Okay, you've got somebody who's down. And you're coming in at head height. Where are you going to keep your gun? Two bullets and the guy's dead. If he's on his head. But actually he's fighting it all. Down here. Until we get the kill. Suddenly he gets a swing up and away. Here it comes. That exact same frame just before this starts and I've said that his cheats try to avoid the head at all costs the only time that is he has headshots is um, if he's sniping and um, if the guy is happens to be falling so the guy falls into a bullet rather than the bullet going to the guy's head it happens to fall into the bullet. But notice how many shots are around that head, but not hitting it. Just go in again. I'm not changing anything over here, look. For me, that is absolute confirmation of layer cake. It does prove the um, lower foot, the outer box, the inner box, the knee, uh, the ADS to get into the player box, the shooting to get onto the chest, uh, and the potential use of a um, macro where the ADS and the first shot is all on one button control. Um, to my mind, Zulena is 100% cheating and I trust that you believe that what I've been able to demonstrate is proof and complete evidence. My name is Kevin, this is the Dimmy Channel, thank you for watching. Kevin knows, huh?
呢？